Welcome to our webinar this evening on the New Gen Direct Marketing Plan. It gives me great pleasure uh, to, uh, to talk to you all about this subject. I mean, it's, our marketing plan is quite remarkable. I've been in this industry, as many of you uh, may know, uh, for about uh, 26 years, and I've written different marketing plans for different companies before over the years. So it's an area which I've specialized in. And this marketing plan is the one which I'm the most proud of. Um, we've, we've had a, a clean uh, slate, a fresh drawing board for us to be able to build this plan. And uh, it really is using some of the best uh, mechanisms and concepts uh, that I've seen in the industry. What you can see in front of you are the different levels, starting from the bottom, um, the consultant level, and going up to the grand heights of Phoenix Ambassador, which is the highest level in the plan. What you're actually looking at, uh, visualizer, is just like a staircase. And, and in fact, that's exactly what it is. Taking either one step at a time to go from position to position up the plan, or if you want to, for those of you who just want to get on and build the business, you can actually jump levels and go from consultant to Emerald Ambassador and so on. It's totally up to you at the speed that you want to grow. It's very, very flexible. So I'm going to have a take you through a little bit about the earning program. I'm going to talk about the industry very briefly. Our position in the industry, we have an incredibly powerful formula, don't we? We have a remarkable product with a global demand and also a remarkable business model with a global demand too. You'll notice in the new gen logo, I showed you the stair steps of of the grand heights of Phoenix Ambassador at the top. But if you, you may or may not have looked at our logo closely to actually see that in the dot of the I above direct, the, the I in direct, can you see the white circle with a red Phoenix in it? Well, when I was putting Eugen together and it started over a couple of years ago, uh, I thought that the symbolic meaning of the phoenix was something which I wanted to include right from the onset. So I hand drew the phoenix, which you can see in the logo, and uh, it's all colored in in Photoshop, but it was hand drawn. And the circle basically represents an egg that that phoenix is about to emerge from. So why is the phoenix so important to me and to, to those who are part of the new gen team and have been with us from, from day one? Well, the phoenix, if you remember the phoenix story, the bird actually, uh, when it comes to the end of its time, it uh, goes into flames and then it comes out of the flames and it has a new lease of life. It's born again from an egg and then it has this new lease of life and it soars the skies like it had never done before. And the symbolic purpose of that story is because if you look at the significance of what we have done by creating this remarkable product, you will know that it gives people a new lease of life where people can really notice a significant difference with the benefits of our product. Likewise, there are significant benefits of our business. And just like the Phoenix, People may not have had the opportunity to be, uh, before to create the dreams that they have. They may have got to a stage in their life where they just think, do you know what? My life right now is not taking me in the direction that I want to go. So the opportunity with NewGen gives people a new lease of life to build a business that can create the income, the stability, and the benefits for people to achieve the dreams that they want to achieve. So that's why the Phoenix is in the logo, and that's why our top level in the earning program is called Phoenix Ambassador. What is network marketing? And I'm just gonna mention this because we've got various different people on, the, um, on this live training right now. Uh, some people I can see are very seasoned in the industry and they've been in the industry a long time, and there are some people that are probably very new. Well, network marketing is a very powerful global success story. It has been for many years, and it simply means that we market a product through a network of people. So it doesn't describe exactly a type of business. There are many varieties in the network marketing industry. But what it does, it shows that by building a team, 
and building a network, we can market a product. And the bigger the business that someone has, you know, when you when you look at those levels in the earning program, and initially you might come in and you might just think, well, do you know what? Yeah, I'm doing this for health reasons, or I just want to get a little bit of extra income coming through. But there are those of you on this call which I know want much, much more. And the larger you build your business, the wonderful benefit is, is that you can help so many more people. The larger your business, see it as a measuring stick, if you will, to the more people that are going to benefit from this incredible product that we have. So it's a great system. On this slide uh, that you can see, it says intellectual marketing at the side. And what is intellectual marketing? Well, Paul Zane Pilsner puts it very nicely. He's a famous economist in America. And he said that the time of distribution has had its height. But now people are craving businesses that provide what he calls intellectual marketing. Intellectual marketing simply means this. when somebody is given information of value when they purchase a product. And as he rightly says with his prediction that network marketing is going to be, you know, have colossal continued growth across the globe, he says it's positioned perfectly for intellectual marketing to actually give people some quality information. It's not to be confused with pyramid selling. Every single business that probably exists on this planet or large businesses are pyramid shaped. And sometimes you may get this uh, when people look at network marketing for the first time if they're not used to the industry and don't know any different. And pyramid selling was something that was outlawed in the 70s. And it's mainly not product that's sold in pyramid selling companies these days. It's, it's really companies which encourage people to introduce people to invest money into a scheme. And those people introduce other people to invest money in the same scheme and on promises of big payouts. So that's the most typical. And pyramid selling businesses last about a year or two years. Um, like any business, you've got someone at the top and a few more at the next level and more at the next level. And that's how every business, whether it's the government, the military, or most companies that you know of, they're all that shape. So it wasn't the shape that gave it its name, it's what happened within the structure. And um, most pyramid selling companies are designed to last one or two years. And what they do is that they mask themselves to be a direct selling network marketing company, which has caused a bit of confusion in the industry for some people. But if anyone ever asks you that, now you know there is, uh, there's no correlation with the two. We have the same shape as every single company does, but that's as far as it goes. Different types of marketing plans in the industry, you may or may not know this, and I mentioned it in a training the other day, and I thought I'd include it uh, in this training. We haven't just put mechanics of our earning program together just because we thought it looked good. We have used a very specific type of earning program that in the industry is referred to as a stair-step breakaway marketing plan. There are different types of earning programs in the industry. There's a, what's called a unilevel, a binary, where you can only have two people that you introduce and, and in most cases no more and it's all about um, bringing people in below and there's a, 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 a there's various variations that where it's limited to three and and so on and and then there's what's called a force matrix which has very limited success in the industry now the oldest type of marketing plan that has been very has had an incredible track record is what's called the stair-step breakaway. It has the biggest longevity of any plan that's been proven in the industry. It produces the largest payouts as a general rule compared to other types of plan. And it has the best levels of um, security where we know that the plan has successful concepts that have been tried over and over and over again. Lots of companies that come into the industry come in and do so because they see it as a huge growth area. And I was just looking at a company the other day. They sell a mineral product and someone brought it to my attention and it's very limited uh, on, on what their, the product actually provides. But their marketing plan is, an, is, is a disaster because a lot of companies, what they do is they see this industry as a great 
business industry to be in to grow, but they don't necessarily have the experience in order to design the mechanics that people need in order to have a stable and successful company. Um, obviously, being second generation, growing up, watching my father run different companies in the network marketing uh, arena, and also going straight into it from a first job and staying in it for all those years. Um, you know, there's a wealth of experience there, which we which helps navigate to make sure that we're doing the right things and building the right systems in place. Now, for any of you watching right now who are seasoned in the industry and have a lot of experience, you'll probably, and I'm sure it'll be a shock to the newer people, but those people will probably be able to look at the slide in front of you and be able to uh, work out how our earning program works, because this is a summary page with everything on one sheet. But doesn't it look complicated for those who are new? Now, earning programs are not supposed to be easy. In fact, most people will watch uh, a video like this. I know it's a live training, but for those who are going to watch it again, it's probably three, four times, at least two times before they really get to understand how our plan works. And it's the same for other companies. They're not supposed to be straightforward. They're supposed to be designed in order to make sure that there's stability in your business, to make sure that the right people are rewarded with the right amounts. And it's also designed to cater for what will inevitably, inevitably be probably millions of people across the globe in, uh, as we grow and become more and more established. So the actual mechanics um, have very particular roles. And we're going to have a look at really the starting points. When someone comes on board, they become a consultant. And uh, the other name for consultant is distributor. It means exactly the same thing. And someone who becomes a consultant, they are then authorized to sell our products at retail and to introduce other people. And how do you do that for the new people online? It's very simple. You go to the person who introduced you to their website, and the person who told you about NewGen and is directly introducing you. You go to their website, click on, uh, sorry, hover on start a business, click on register, complete the form. And as soon as you press the button to send your application form, within seconds, your consultant account, your free website and free online office is set up instantaneously. It's fabulous technology. You're then authorized to place an order over the phone. And you can see our details there. Most of you will have these details. And you can also place an order over the internet by going to your website or the company's website, hovering over the company, click on consultant login, as you can see on the slide. And then on the right hand side, you can see the login box that pops up, where it asks for your username, put your consultant number that, uh, that sent to you when you join, and also the password that you use to register. Simple as that, you go into our online office, this is what you see, you click on new order, and you can place orders. So why am I showing you that in a, um, a presentation on how our earnings uh, work is because I also want you to uh, appreciate uh, during this talk that people can very easily come on board and join your business. The potential is huge. There's no limit to the amount of people that you bring in. They can have their own system, their software, the online office and their website very, very quickly and easily. So you can build a business very quickly and those people can introduce other people and do the same. On the slide, you'll also notice there's a tab at the top on the right that says organization. And that's where you would go to actually see a list of all the different people that are in your business. So it's great. Our online office allows you to manage your business literally anywhere in the world. Like this lady, if you sat on a nice beach, as long as you've got internet connection, wherever you are, 365 days a year, night or day, you can actually see what's happening. So you're a consultant and you now want to start building a business. Well, the very first income that's available to you is retail, it's called retail profit. And of course, as you would expect, you're authorized as a consultant to buy from NewGen at the wholesale price and you're authorized to sell at retail. Now, these sales might be directly from you to your customer or they may be where your customer has gone onto your new gen website that we've set up for you and they're ordering online. Whichever way, 
you will earn retail profit. And it doesn't matter in a calendar month whether you've got one retail sale or 10 or 100. There is no minimum in order of retail sales in order for you to start earning retail profit. If one of your customer, instead, instead of actually ordering directly from you in person, if they go onto your website, then what we do, we uh, calculate during the month all the retail profit that you do, and then we pay it on the 10th day of the following month when we pay bonuses. So it's, it's paid at the same time. So min no minimums for retail profit. In order to earn, understand the earning program, it's really important that we cover some definitions. So we're going to have a look at those now and just take you through some of the, the terminology that we use. And it will help you be better placed to understand how our marketing plan wor uh, works because we use these different terminology, uh, these different definitions in order for people to understand and uh, different parts of their business and how it's described. So some of you may have come across already that we use the word points. And uh, what are points? You know, this is, again, we've got some new people on here. So let's have a, a, a chat about that. So when someone buys, a consultant buys the product from us, they buy, as you can see, in the UK. You can see the prices below. The wholesale price, including the VAT, is $27.99. And the retail price is $37.99. If you're VAT registered, obviously you include VAT at your retail price. If you're not, then obviously you don't. So for those who aren't VAT registered, there's a clear £10 profit made on all sales which are direct in person to a customer. If it's through your website, it's slightly less because we sell, we are a VAT registered company and we sell uh, for most countries that we deal with that are in the European uh, VAT zone we will sell uh, at uh, including VAT prices. So you can also see there that there's the wholesale price showing X VAT, because I just want to refer to that, it's 23.33. So without the tax, that's the wholesale price of the product. And then to the left, you can see what's called the points value of the product. Now this is one box of New Gen Superfood Plus. It has a points value, one box of 20 points. What are points exactly? Well, when we pay percentages, uh, we don't, uh, and the percentages that you'll see in the following presentation, we don't pay those percentages on the wholesale price or retail price. They're paid on the monetary value of the product that we pay commissions on. And the monetary value we refer to as the points value of the product. So every box of New Gen Superfood Plus has a points value of £20 in the UK. And that's um, the value when someone, for example, qualifies for a, a bonus, like a 20% bonus that you'll see shortly, it's 20% of the £20. So they get £4 back when they qualify for that bonus. All network marketing, mostly network marketing companies across the world use a point system. It's very handy for us because when we expand globally, we can alter the points value to represent the currency in that market. And, um, and that's one of the main reasons why we use a point system. So that's how it is. The goal with a company is to try and get the points value as close as you can to the wholesale value of the product. That's what shows a great opportunity. Now, some companies in our industry might have a, uh, a similar wholesale price, but their points value may be half which means even though they show you commissions like 20%, they're paying it on half the value. So therefore, the people are going to get half back. So we actually have a, a fabulous points to wholesale price ratio. It's extremely high, in fact, and it means that you can earn very well right from the word go with our system. Let's have a look at some terminology. On the left-hand side of the stairs, stairway to success, you can see something that we call a lifetime rank. When you hear that, what does it mean? So a lifetime rank is the highest position that someone's ever achieved in the new gen journey. So what, uh, what, the reason why this is important is because uh, sometimes people say when we reach a position, does that mean that we're paid at that position uh, forever and a day, regardless of what happens with their turnover and business in the following months? The answer is no. From a recognition point of view, 
we always recognize you uh, publicly at the highest level you've ever achieved. We don't believe in demoting people uh, when we're recognizing people. So for example, all businesses, doesn't matter what industry you're in, when it's a new business, it's not unusual for it to fluctuate. So one month you'll have uh, success, the another, another month it might be slightly less, and you have these peaks and troughs until the momentum builds up, and obviously you have more what we call exponential growth, where it can just really grow at an incredible rate. But it's not unusual for new businesses to have little peaks, and maybe the next month it's lower. So the highest rank that you've ever achieved, let's say one month you're an Emerald Ambassador, but the following month uh, your business has got a little bit of a dip and that you're Sapphire, uh, that month we still recognize you from a recognition point of view as Ambassador, but your earnings is ba are based on the level that you are every month. Now that's crucial for a earning program to work effectively. If you ever hear a network marketing company tell you that the highest rank that you get to, you will, you will always be paid at that rank. You need to keep well clear because it's a very basic mechanic in network marketing where people uh, have to have a incentive to grow their business. Because if you were always paid on the highest rank that you achieved, there would be no incentive to maintain your turnover the business would whittle away, the wrong people would earn commission, and it, it wouldn't actually be sustainable for the company in the midterm, let alone the long term. So a crucial mechanism of any good network marketing plan is that they pay on what's called the bonus rank. And the bonus rank is different to lifetime rank. We actually assess month by month what level you actually reach in our earning program. So you might be in Emerald, this month, next month, maybe Sapphire. The month after might be Pearl Ambassador, for example. So, and we, we pay accordingly. It gives you an incentive to obviously keep your business moving in the right direction. But just as, if not more importantly, it gives the people that you introduce the incentive to pro, um, proactively build their business. The other definition that you've just seen come up on your screen is called the ambassador level. And as you can see in the text, every position or rank from the Sapphire ambassador level onwards all the way to Phoenix, you'll see the word ambassador that follows the title. What we do is that we regard anyone that's reached the Sapphire level or higher as an ambassador in our business. And you'll see that term being used quite a bit in the presentation tonight. So we've looked at the point that we actually assess qualifications month to month for a bonus point of view, which is really important. And what is the qualification period? When do we start assessing the success of your business? Well, as you can see in front of you, a qualification period starts on the first day of a calendar month, and it finishes just before midnight in your country on the very last calendar day of the same month regardless of whether that day is a weekday or a weekend. So it, you have a full month from start to finish, and wherever you are in the world, in your country, it finishes just before midnight on the last day. And then what we do is we assess the business that your, uh, dis that your uh, distributorship has actually produced, you and your team, over that period of time over the month. And that is how we determine what bonuses you're qualified to receive, and also what percentages also uh, in addition. You'll hear us use the word volume, and volume essentially is the amount of points accumulated in the calendar month. And there are different types of volumes that we look for depending on the area of business that we're assessing. And again, you'll see that being referred to in this presentation. So we look over that calendar month from the first day right through to the final day to assess the volume in your business. Now, one of the first volumes that we look at is what's called your personal volume. You'll see it referenced on the summary sheet as PV. Uh, we have lots of um, abbreviations for obvious reasons, and uh, you will see the full terminology shown to you this evening in this presentation. Now, what is personal volume? You'd probably, even without any experience at all, you'd probably guess exactly what it is. 
It's anything in a calendar month that goes through your account, your personal account, whether it's your personal purchases or whether it's purchases that you've made through your account for your customers, or indeed it also includes customers that buy off your new gen website. Those orders go through your personal account. So when we look at your personal volume, that is what we're referring to. Any of those orders that go through your personal account in a calendar month. Now we have an activity clause which applies to every single position, promotional position in our earning program for the rank and also for the bonuses that can be earned at those levels. So our activity clause is as follows. Anyone who wants to partake in our earning program uh, or to progress to another level, there are certain criteria that they need to fulfill but one of the very basic criteria that applies to every single business, regardless of what level or what bonus it is, we need to see that in a calendar month, your business is deemed as being active, where you've made at least one purchase for at least one box of New Gen Superfood Plus in a calendar month. Now, that's quite remarkable. For those of you who are seasoned in the industry, you will know that some companies require you to buy quite a significant amount of product through your own account in a calendar month. We didn't want to do that. First of all, by making sure that you buy at least one product if you want to partake in our earning program, that is, then you know, we know that you're a, most likely to be a product of the products, a great testimonial to share with other people, and you have experience using New Gen Superfood Plus. We don't want to put constraints on you to say that you need to buy more than one product. And that's simply because I want NewGen to appeal to everybody, regardless of their financial circumstances. So we don't want to put people off who have found it difficult in life and want an opportunity to get on uh, the run of the ladder with a great business opportunity uh, that, we, uh, that we've designed and that we have for people. So that's why the activity level is very low. Um, of course, if you're not uh, qualifying for a bonus or a, a title, then you don't have to worry about this activity clause. It's just when you want to partake in the earning program uh, or to qualify for a position. We just, we just need to make sure your account is what's called active. Some other terminology, let's have a look. Uh, you'll have heard already, I'm sure, uh, that the person who introduced you is referred to as your sponsor. They've introduced you, and I think it's quite self-explanatory why we use that word. And, of course, when you introduce other people, we refer to you as those people's sponsor. And when those people introduce other people, it carries on. They are their people's sponsor and so on. So that's what sponsor means. And let's have a look at some more terminology. Uh, qualified, when we use that phrase, uh, what it refers to is a consultant that's met the minimum qualification criteria for a bonus or a rank in a calendar month, and then we deem that that person is qualified in that calendar month, and we will pay their bonuses and award them their rank uh, following that calendar month. So that's what the word qualified means when you hear it. Another phrase that you'll hear, and you're really getting a, a really good thorough look at uh, our earning program and the terminology here, uh, one of the phrases that we use is called downline. And downline is probably, the word was probably used in day one when network marketing started. It's a very old phrase that's used in the industry. What does it mean? Well, simply when we draw a picture to show your organization building, so you can see yourself on the screen. When you introduce some people, like I have shown as an illustration on this slide, you've introduced someone called Paul, Marie, and Vladimir. And you've introduced those three people. So as you've done that directly, we connect a line from you to them when we draw a diagram to actually show a structure in an organization. So when you see the following slides, that's what it depicts. And also when you go into your online office and you look at the pictorial um, view of your organization, you will also see it shown in a very similar way. It's shown in boxes instead of circles, but you'll see the people directly underneath you. So when Paul and Marie and Vladimir then go introduce other people, 
This is how we would show it. Paul's people, Sophia and Lucas, are connected to Paul with the line directly, which means that he's personally introduced them. Marie's brought in Mario, and Vladimir's brought in Joy, and Vladimir's also brought in Nicole. And it could, the example could keep going on. So you've brought in three people, and those people, Paul, Marie, and Vladimir, have then gone on to do the same and brought other people. So you can see how the organization can grow. And the terminology downline simply means is that when you look at the picture, to see the people that you've introduced, you look down the line to the next person, and that indicates the person that you've introduced. So if we want to look at Paul's people that he's introduced, we look down the line, and it, we see Sophia and Lucas, and that's how we use, and that's why we use the phrase downline. Another phrase that we use is upline, and I think you've got this analogy and definition already. Let's say the person who introduced you is someone called Peter, and uh, Peter, we would draw him above you in an organizational chart, and um, to see your sponsor, we look directly up the line, to see who the person is that the individual was brought in by. So if we wanted to have a look at who brought uh, Sophia in, we would look up the line and we can see Paul. If we want to see who brought Paul in, we look up the line and we see you. And if we want to see who you were brought in by, we look up the line and you were brought in, in this example, by someone called Peter. So that's the industry terminology. Uh, some of that's explained and we've got a little bit more. I've shown a tongue in cheek, just a picture of a, a boot or a leg here, because um, this is another phrase that you'll hear spoken about quite a bit. A leg is a proportion of your business starting at the someone that you've introduced. So when we look at your organization, obviously we know that the people that you introduce are in turn most likely going to introduce others. Every time you start a, a new line, so here you brought in Paul, that is deemed as a leg in your business. So Paul and everyone in Paul's organization that we can see in his downline, that is in one of your legs. It's directly aligned from you to Paul, and that signifies a new leg in your business. The same with the other examples that we used previously. Marie and her people would be in a separate leg or line in your business, and Vladimir is regarded to be in another leg. So when we look at this structure, what does it mean? It means that you've got three legs to your business, people that you personally introduced and they've gone on and built other teams. So again, we use that terminology. Um, we've got a few other things to show you terminology-wise. Level, this, uh, this and the next slide are very, very important that you understand the difference actually when you want to understand the earning potential that there is with NewGen. So you have introduced the three people that we've referred to as, uh, uh, as you know, previously, Paul, Marie, and Vladimir. These people are one level away from you in this downline structure, so we refer to those people as first level. Now, there's a very big difference between first level and something that we're going to look at in the moment, which are the generations in your business that bonuses are paid on. So sometimes people when then uh, they don't have experience in network marketing, they can quite easily think that they're paid on individuals in the business and you're actually paid on groups of individuals in most cases in our earning programs. So the potential is far greater. Some companies in the industry, of course, do pay on individuals and it's very limited in the depth it can go to and, of course, the earning program. So when you look at force matrix plans, many uh, binary systems and um, you know there's a lot of different types of plans out there. A lot of plans do work on the basis of levels. We work on the basis of generations, which you'll see in a moment. To see your second level then, your first level has gone in and introduced some people. So Paul has introduced Sophia and Lucas, like we saw before, and they are two people away from you, and therefore we refer to them as being second level to you in the business and of course, they are first level to Paul because the, it's just one person between uh, Paul and that individual themselves, uh, and they are Paul's first level and your second level and so on. So that's what the phrase means. And of course, if Sophia brings in Sven and Jeff, they are third level to you and first level to Sophia and second level to Paul. So I hope that's quite clear.
If you uh, weren't clear about it, just watch this back again and uh, you'll be able to see it's really quite straightforward. So what is a generation? Because this is the power of our earning program is that for most of our bonuses we pay on uh, groups of people. Well, if you look down the left-hand side, the, the, the first leg that we refer to as being Paul, we can see that Paul has not qualified for a particular bonus. And what we're doing is we've said to you, just as a hypothetical example, that you've qualified to earn a bonus on your first and second generation of qualifiers in your, in your downline organization. So let's, what we do is that we, let, let's say you're paid a percentage on your first generation qualifiers. What we do is we go down every single leg of your business until we find the first person that has met the qualification that we're looking for. So in this example, you have brought in Paul. He didn't qualify for the particular bonus. He brought in Sophia. She didn't either. She brought in Sven, who did qualify. He's the first one in that leg that you come across that's qualified for a particular bonus that we were looking for. And therefore, Sven is deemed as your first generation. So that's really important to see how it works. And of course, with Marie, we can use an example. She happens to qualify and uh, Marie has brought in Mario, who's also qualified. So they're both generation qualifiers. Uh, they happen to be directly one under the other, but they don't have to be depending on what happens month by month in each line of your business. Now, we can search as deep as your business goes to find those people that qualify. So our earnings is not always directly on the people that you introduce. It's not limited to those people. We can actually pay in our earning program very, very deep in your organization. And this is one of the things that makes the earning potential huge with new gen. Some volume types that I'd like to describe to you that you'll hear, with, um, I've got a picture to show you exactly what they mean. And I'm just going to walk you through those, uh, because, these, sorry, because you'll uh, hear about these on, in the forthcoming slides when we look at the qualification for different levels. Personal volume, we've already looked at. That includes anything that goes through your own account, but it doesn't include anything that is in another consultant or higher positions account, which is what the red circle is denoting. So the white circle is uh, basically representing you in this particular case, and your personal volume is you and what goes through your own personal account only. When you hear uh, our phrase enterprise group volume, Enterprise group volume is here, you're shown as an enterprise consultant. It includes anything that you do and all of your consultants, but it excludes anyone that's an enterprise consultant or higher, and, any, and it excludes anyone in their downline. So when you hear us talk about enterprise group volume, that's you and any number of consultants that you've introduced and those people have introduced, and we go down as deep as uh, in every single leg of your organization looking for all those consultants. And it stops and doesn't include anyone that's either an enterprise consultant or higher. The best way to understand how our group volume systems work, because there's a common theme with all of these, is that enterprise group volume includes you as an enterprise consultant, but it excludes anyone of the same level or higher and any of their people. And the same rule applies to the following two definitions. An ambassador group volume, you can guess it, includes you, your consultants, your enterprise uh, consultants, but excludes in your ambassador group volume, we do not count anybody that's of the same level, a Sapphire ambassador or higher, and we do not include their downline. Now, the reason why we've got these definitions is because for different qualifications, we actually look at these and assess these different levels of activity in order to determine whether you qualify for certain bonuses. You can guess the next one, I'm sure. A silver group volume is basically yourself, and it's every single person in your organization excluding anyone 
and exclude uh, that's a silver ambassador or higher, so someone of the same level, and it's excluding anyone in their organization. So when we look at a silver group volume, we look at you, your consultants, your enterprise consultants, your sapphire ambassadors, your emerald ambassadors, and your pearl ambassadors. All the turnover that they produce collectively is in your silver group, uh, but it excludes anyone else that's a silver ambassador or higher. So what I'm actually showing you are bespoke to new gen. This plan is bespoke to new gen. I've created it with new gen in mind, but a lot of the concepts and mechanics um, are very tried and tested. So rank qualifications and bonuses then. When you qualify, um, when you come in as a consultant, you want to obviously qualify at least for the enterprise consultant position. So let's have a look. That's the first progressive rank. Let's have a look on how you do that. Well, if you remember what I described to you as enterprise group volume, you can actually see it shown here in this picture. It includes you as an enterprise consultant, all of your consultants, but it excludes anybody that's of the same level being an enterprise consultant and it excludes anyone in their organization. So what we do is this is one of our uh, development um, bonuses that we actually pay on is uh, when you qualify for the enterprise level, we pay a bonus based on the people that you're helping to develop to, to, get, to help progress up the ranks. This development bonus, what we do is we say, right, to qualify for the position and the bonus, you need to have a 500 points that's accumulated between you and all of your consultants, like the picture shows, not including any of those red circles because they're either an enterprise or under an enterprise. So you and your consultants, in the, in the calendar month, we add up all of your uh, purchases and accumulate it all. And as long as it comes to 500 points, which is equivalent in the UK as 25 boxes of New Gen Super Blue Plus, then you will qualify at this level. You also don't forget need to, for all of our levels, need to have your account as being active. So you need to have at least one product in your own account in a calendar month. And, um, and in total, between what you do and all your consultants, a total of 25 boxes. I hope you understand that, uh, how it works. We're going to show you, I'm going to show you how to qualify for the next level as well at this point, because it follows a, a theme. And then we'll look at the bonuses that you can earn for both of these levels. So the next progressive level is the Sapphire Ambassador position. And what we uh, look at here is basically we look at your ambassador group volume. And your ambassador group volume includes you, but excludes anyone else that's a Sapphire position or higher, and it excludes their organization. So when you look at the chart here, unlike the previous position, it stopped at the enterprise consultants. Uh, and you couldn't include them, could you, in your enterprise group volume? When we look at Sapphire um, group, uh, group volume, it's actually called ambassador group volume. So it doesn't matter what ambassador level you are. The concept is exactly the same. So what we do is we allow uh, you to include all of the turnover that you produce in a calendar month or your consultants or your enterprise consultants and all of their people but it does not include somebody that's an ambassador level or higher, and it doesn't include their organization. So everyone in this structure would be included in your ambassador group volume. Now, when you have a, a collectively a thousand points in the UK, which is equivalent to 50 products in total of purchases of New Gen Superfood Plus in a calendar month, then you will qualify for the Sapphire Ambassador level by meeting this criteria. So, you know, it's actually, you may need to watch this a couple of times, but it's actually not complicated. It may, may seem it for people who are brand new, but if you watch it a couple of times, it's the, the concepts are quite logical and there is a flow. So let's have a look at the earnings that can be generated for the two levels that we've looked at so far. When somebody qualifies at the enterprise level, as you can see highlighted in the charts, when someone makes the enterprise level, they're going to get a 10% bonus on their enterprise group. And an enterprise group, if you remember, is 
what goes through your accounts, the purchases of product, and all of your consultants, but it doesn't include anybody that's an enterprise consultant or higher. So I've just indicated on your screen the 10% uh, that you would actually earn on the different accounts in your organization. It stops at the enterprise levels or higher. So that's to show you the bonus when you qualify at the enterprise level every month. This is what happens. You get paid on, on those accounts. At the ambassador uh, level, um, from Sapphire onwards, then what we do is that your enterprise group, which is everyone that's not under an enterprise consultant, and it doesn't include enterprise consultants, we actually bump that percentage up when, you're, uh, when you qualify for the Sapphire level or higher. We actually bump it up from 10% to 20% that you get back on your any orders in your accounts and any of your consultants' accounts. Um, we also pay you an additional bonus, which is, if you remember I used the word generation, what we're looking here is now the first generation of enterprise consultants in every single leg. So when we look down the leg that starts with Paul, and then he introduces Sophia and Lucas, and Sophia has brought in Sven. Sven's brought in someone called Jeff. Jeff's the first enterprise consultant in that leg. And therefore, he starts the generation one, and it finishes at the person next in the leg, if there is anyone at all, that's uh, of the enterprise level or higher. So the earnings are as follows. In addition to your 20% on your enterprise group, you also get a 10% bonus on your first generation of enterprise consultants and all of their consultants. At the when you're a Sapphire level or higher. So I hope you understand that. This is, uh, these are referred to as our development bonuses because you're helping nurture these people and helping them progress from very early stages in the earning program. We have a very sophisticated computer system that will be working all of these out, all these bonuses. You don't have to be doing it yourself. Uh, it's all done for you and um, uh, you're actually then paid all of the due commissions, like I mentioned, on the 10th day of the following month when you've qualified for different commissions in the earning program. So that's the enterprise level and the Sapphire level. There is now a common theme with some of the other levels, and I'm going to group some of these together to, to give you an idea. Um, so when we look at Emerald, uh, Ambassador and Hire. We're going to have a look at how you qualify for those levels. So on your screen right now, um, I've minimized it and I've made it more simplistic just because so we can get the circles in on the screen because we're about to add to it. But of course, um, you know, you could have many, many more people than what I'm showing you in this, in this diagram. So let's say John is at the top. Maybe that indicates you, your accounts. He's brought in some Consultants who are shown in white, he's brought in somebody, he's brought in somebody, and also he's got two enterprise consultants which are shown in the enterprise consultant uh, color code, which we use, which is the yellow. And uh, we've looked at those bonuses already, the 20% and the 10%, but let's now look at what happens as your business grows and you bring in more people. So let's say that Paul introduces Sophia and Sophia built her own group, as, uh, as you can see, of consultants and enterprise consultants shown by those three small circles. But it could be any number of people. And then she's also, in addition to that, brought someone in called Jeff, who's reached one of our ambassador levels. Sam was brought in by Jeff, who's also achieved ambassador level. Anna, also brought in by Sam in this case, has reached an ambassador level and so on. So that shows you um, a very simplistic view of one leg from Paul going down on how a business can grow. In reality, there would probably be many, many more legs that Paul has and Sophia has and so on. But to get things on the slide, we've just stripped it back to a basic diagram to show you. So when we look at your business, we are also interested to look at the ambassador generations in your business. Now, when you look at the person that Paul has introduced, Paul hasn't reached an ambassador level. He's only an enterprise consultant. But he did actually bring in somebody called Sophia who made an, the ambassador, one of the ambassador levels. 
So her and all of her consultants and all of her enterprise consultants are referred to as the ambassador uh, first generation or generation one. Now, it doesn't include anyone else that also has reached the ambassador level. And we can see that shown on this diagram where Jeff was brought in by Sophia. And Jeff, when we look at John's account at the top, is the second generation person when we look down the line, the leg, that's actually qualified at the ambassador level. Paul didn't do it, so he's not an ambassador generation. You earn one of the development bonuses on Paul's business. But we keep going as deep as necessary to find the first person that's qualified at an ambassador level. In this case, Sophia, she's your first generation. She's just one generation away from you, um, regardless of how many people in between. Uh, Jeff is the next generation. Sam is the next generation going down the line. And if we look at Chloe at the bottom, it's quite interesting here because the very last circle, if you have a look, is actually a consultant level, not an ambassador level. So that's all encompassed in generation five. That's five people away from you that have qualified at the ambassador level. So why are we looking for ambassador generations? Well, we have bonuses that will pay you on all of those people. Now, just like John has brought in someone that's not an ambassador and then he brought in someone who is, you know, it could be 10 people down each leg or 20 or 30 or 40 before you find somebody who's an ambassador generation. And we know that you're most likely the person that's working with them and we want to reward you. So that's how we and why we assess generations like this. It means that you can earn on, you know, masses and masses of people and earn significant uh, incomes. So looking at how uh, when you reach the emerald level, so you, these are abbreviated, these titles, but it's emerald, pearl, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, and phoenix, the abbreviations going across the top of the grid. And what we're going to have a look at is, depending on which position you qualify for, will determine how many generations you can be paid on of ambassador groups in your organization, and also what percentage that you're going to be paid on that collective turner of, uh, of the ambassador group. So let's say John has qualified at the Emerald level. He will get 8% on every single first generation ambassador in his business. So we look down every single leg that he's brought in and every single first generation ambassador, he will get 8% on their ambassador group. As a reminder, Ambassador Group is uh, the ambassador's personal account, all of their consultants, all of their enterprise consultants, but it doesn't include, it stops at somebody that is also an ambassador, someone that's Sapphire or higher. So in order to go two generations down, we can see using the grid that you need to progress to the next level in the earning program, which is called Pearl. And when you progress at the pearl level, you will earn now 6% on your second generation of ambassadors in every single leg in your business. When you progress to the silver level, you will be paid on three generations in depth in your business. When you reach the gold level, you'll be paid on four generations. And you can see, you can see the percentages that you're paid on each of these generations of ambassador groups in your organization. And the platinum level pays five generations in depth. So as your business is progressing and building, you, you know, in the early stages, I mean, a lot of people will earn on, on all of their business. And as you have people progressing, you just want to stay a step ahead to make sure that you qualify for the relevant position to earn the bonus on their group uh, in, the, in, in your organization. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, platinum pays you down to the maximum of five generations. The same for diamond and the same for the phoenix level. All of those payouts are exactly the same. Let's have a look at what you need to do to reach all of these levels. So we're going to start off with an explanation that you can then uh, just follow this on because the same rule uh, pretty much applies then uh, once I've explained 
the initial qualifications uh, shown on the chart. Let's say John wants to qualify at the Emerald level, which is denoted with the initials EMR. What we can see there are two uh, main charts, one that uh, shows the number of qualified legs that's needed to reach that level. And then in the chart below, we can see something which is a new term called payline. And uh, payline is best described when you can see a graphic like this slide that you've got in front of you right now. So we've saved it for, for this stage. So in order to qualify at the emerald level, you need to have a leg with somebody that's reached the sapphire level. That's criteria number one. You also need to have a pay line of 2,000 points. Now, what pay line is? Pay line is your own um, enterprise group and your first generation enterprise people all added up with your first generation of ambassadors. So basically, all of the people that you can earn on at this level, the volume that's generated by all of those accounts, all of the points that's generated in the calendar month is referred to as your pay line. Now, the way that pay line works is the more levels of generation levels that you qualify to earn on, you can count all of those um, consultants, the ambassadors, and all of the people that you're earning on as, as your pay line. So we've looked at Emerald level, the qualification criteria, 2,000 points in pay line. That's anything that you do, your consultants and your enterprise consultants, plus all of your first generation of ambassadors in every single leg. That's um, classed as pay line at the Emerald level, because those are all the people that you can earn on. When we look at the Pearl level, at, uh, on the previous slide, we showed that the Pearl ambassadors can earn on two generations in depth, didn't we? And that's denoted with the highlighted um, indication on the uh, behind the actual uh, text on your slide. So what happens here, you get all of the same uh, bonuses as a, an Emerald did, but you now earn one generation more in depth. You earn on your second generation. So a Pearl's pay line now it includes all of their second generation ambassadors because they earn on those as well as their first generation and as well as all of those in their own ambassador group, all the consultants and what goes through their account and what goes through all of your enterprise consultants' accounts. So that is what Payline is. I hope it's clear. I'm sure, again, if you play this back, it will become quite clear. And, um, and the same rule applies then for all the other levels. Now, what we do here is that we increase the structure requirement to qualify for the different levels. So you'll notice under Pearl, it's got a number two in the row that um, has SPH for Sapphire Ambassadors. So what that means is, is that you need to have two Sapphire legs to be a Pearl and 4,000 in your pay line. So anything through your own account, your consultants, your enterprise consultants, and your first generation, and in this case, second generation, all of the volume generated can be added together to determine your pay line at the Pearl level. And as long as it's 4,000 or more, and as long as you've got two Sapphire legs, uh, then you will qualify at the Pearl level. To qualify at the Silver level, um, the structure requirement changes for each level here on. And I'll stop at this uh, point because the theme is exactly the same. Here, the structure we ask for is to have two legs with a sapphire in each, someone that's qualified at the sapphire ambassador level, and also to have a leg at the emerald level, somebody in one of your legs that's reached at least the emerald position. When you do that at the silver level, you can earn on three generations in depth. Therefore, your pay line to meet the qualification of 8,000 is determined by everything that's produced by everyone in your third generation, your second generation, your first generation, and all of your ambassador group at the very top. All of their collective points, if it comes to 8,000 and you've got that structure requirement at the top, you'll qualify for the silver level. And the, the rule applies here on to all the other positions that you can see in the earning program.
when you reach the uh, diamond level, and this is coming to the end of the earning program now, uh, we actually have two additional bonuses in addition to these generation bonuses that we've just looked at. And these are called power bonuses because uh, they are very powerful. And, and even though the percentages are smaller, they can actually pay a percentage on a mass of people. And I'm going to show you very quickly how it works. It's relatively straightforward. A silver power bonus um, at the diamond level, which is highlighted in the chart, you will get 2% on what's called your silver group. Your silver group is you and every single position, every rank in your organization down to, but not including someone that's reached the silver level. So in this diagram, there are many people and there could be many, many more people in your business. And Chloe, who's second from the bottom, is the first person that's reached the silver level in that particular leg of your business that we're demonstrating. So she's you don't earn the 2% on Chloe because she's a silver or higher position, but everyone above, you get this 2% silver power bonus. And uh, so it can go down, if you don't have a silver ambassador in your business, it can pay all the way down to the very, very end. Uh, in the industry, sometimes these bonuses are referred to as infinity bonuses because they can literally pay indefinitely all the way through your business and they only stop if they come across somebody that's uh, a silver level. Now, the Phoenix level, uh, in addition to the 2% on your own silver group, you also get an additional 1% bonus, which is paid on your first silver generation silver group. So what we do is we look at Chloe's business. She's the first generation of silver ambassador in your organization, the very first one that's reached that level when we look down the line. And um, so what we do is we would pay you in this scenario 1% of every single bit of business in that calendar month that's produced by Chloe, all of the people in her entire downline, down to, and it only stops when you find another silver ambassador in that organization. I hope uh, this has shown you, you know, really given you a good overview of the earning program. Um, again, please watch it again uh, as many times as you wish because you'll get more and more each time you watch it, especially if you're new. Those who are seasoned will probably get it straight away. Those who are new, you may need to look at it a couple of times. Just in case you weren't with us at the very beginning of this presentation, um, next week uh, we're doing trainings every single Tuesday for the forthcoming weeks. And next week we have a great talk by a great speaker. If you've heard Sarah speak before, you won't want to miss this. Sarah is a naturopathic nutritionist, as I mentioned at the beginning. Uh, she has so many different qualifications and ologies, all different types, which give her a huge span of knowledge and experience. Next Tuesday at 7.30, Sarah's going to be looking at the remarkable anti-aging benefits of New Gen Superfood Plus. And uh, if you don't know about those already and you don't know about the preclinical trial that we had uh, on, on our product, then you're in for a fabulous surprise and you'll be mesmerized by uh, when you learn about how powerful that product is from an anti-aging point of view. And uh, don't forget, if you haven't seen the news articles yet, I mentioned these at the very beginning, but these are all available in your resource center on your online office. This is a publication that published uh, an article on us yesterday called Female First, um, talking about why we need supplements for better health and why New Gen Superfood Plus is the answer. Uh, it's a, a lovely article. And uh, just over a week ago, we were featured in Beauty in the Dirt, who's got an online circulation of over 800,000, apparently. And we were listed at the top of their five favorite superfood blends. And we've got, I was, we were told today, we have um, another publication that's hopefully running, running an article on us uh, next week on Tuesday. So um, when that happens, we'll let you know. And uh, we're just going to keep it under our hat at the moment. But it's a, a well-known publication for many, and we're really excited about it. So um, thank you so much for, for listening. Uh, here we go. Last slide. This is the stairway to success. Enjoy being with NewGen. Thank you for being with NewGen and spreading the word.
about our remarkable product. I hope you enjoy it. And, uh, and I hope you can turn this business in to the business that you need to fulfill your dreams and your goals. And in doing so, helping many, many people along the way. Thank you very much indeed for listening.